I wanted to take a couple of minutes and point out a couple of preferences I have for doing causal loop diagrams in Insight Maker. Typically, with causal loop diagrams, the influences between the elements in the diagram are either um, positive or reinforcing influences, which are represented with a notation of an S meaning the same direction or a plus sign, or or they are balancing ne or negative influences, which are represented with a an O or a minus sign. Because in Insight Maker, the the way that you do the the notation, you have to use a, a piece of text, and it's not actually affixed to the relationship, and you have to move them around separately. Um, I find that it's much easier to to just code my positive influences in blue and my balancing influences in red. It's I find it much more visually um, identifiable than having all of the influences simply in black and looking at the at the annotations on them. And in this way, the, the diagram ends up being less cluttered itself because the the additional notation isn't there. In in most instances, I will in fact remember to to put a legend on the diagram so that it in fact explains what the what the two arrows are. In addition to that the the individual elements in the diagram because of the ability to connect uh, links between any of the the primitives within Insight Maker you could use stocks or variables or or even converters or text or pictures to to create the individual elements in the diagram personally I have a preference for using pictures the reason being is that at some time, in other words, um, I use the picture for a couple of reasons. One is there are no restrictions on the text that can appear as the label. Um, in other words, I can put special characters as I wish in the label if I use a stock or a variable or a converter there are restrictions on the the labels to only alphanumeric characters because they're actually used in formulas for simulations so I have preferences for using a picture element simply because there are no restrictions on the text and at some point in the future I may actually want to add uh, a picture to turn it into a, a rich picture or a hybrid between a causal loop diagram and a rich picture. Though, and I can get rid of this picture by simply um, deleting the image, which takes it back to, oh, sorry, that's just duplicating it, takes it back to an oval. If I then go ahead and tell it to make the fill transparent, and to make the the line transparent and then tell it to put the text in the in the middle I end up with just what you would get from a piece of tech if you put a created a text element if I create text and then get rid of the underline and make it smaller like uh, 14 so this the text element and the picture element now look the same though if in the future I decide that I want to um, attach an image to this I can in fact do it without having to to delete the item and replace it with some other item so rather than use the text items for causal loop diagrams I tend to use the picture item though because I don't want to go through the the hassle of having to um, create the element, get rid of the the image, and also change the stuff. 
I create an element and I call it blank and I just let it set here. And any anytime I want to create a new element, I just hold the control key, click on it, and, and make make some duplicates and then I alter the text associated with those. So so once I create the first one, and, and I, as I said, the, fir the first one is created by, this is, let's call it blank, by simply taking it, get, getting rid of the picture, so that it essentially says there's, there's no image, and, and then telling it that I want the text in the middle, telling it that I want no fill and no circle, so it's the same as an image, it's just transparent. So hopefully that's helpful, and I'll integrate this into the CLD video the next time I redo the video. So take care. Bye.